Hello and welcome to BISP Solutions. The today webinar is about the fusion financial implementation in which we will do the accounts payable transactional process based on use cases of BISP group. Let's move to the today's agenda. In day 5, the first agenda will be the create accounting and accounting entries and transfer to the GL. Then we will see the payables period close process. What are the process behind the period close in payables? Then we will go through the payables to the general ledger reconciliations. So these are the month end processes which usually one consultant should do. Right. So creating account entries and transfer to GL. So let us move to the next slide. As per the business requirement, the automated offline method for pay payables accounting with a specific runtime, that is end of the day, and notification of same should reach to manager. That is the requirement given by the business user that accounting should be done of payables that is related to invoices or payment should be done in a specific runtime. As per the case they mentioned the end of the day, we will take a, a specific time schedule on that and we will see that uh, how the schedule is run and how the notification reach to the manager. Right. So we will see that also in the application. So move to the next slide for our test case related to automated accounting in accounts payable first we will validate the invoices we will initiate the approval workflow if enabled and we will create accounting process right so that is create accounting we will do and let moves to the application and uh, move to the application and log in with the user credential right so let us move to the application now so log in with the credential the user credential i have put yeah So let us navigate to the as the application has refreshed. So since it is a demo application, so we will enter certain invoices through ADFDI sheets. Quickly enter that and we will run the whole process, right? So let us quickly create that. So navigate to the invoice workbench. from the task panel create recurring invoices we will select that recurring invoices and uh, download the file Let open the file. ADFDI file that is application desktop just hold on log in 
log in with the credential put the credentials So it is a recurring invoice. We have downloaded the spreadsheet. So in the this is template business unit, select the business unit. So my business unit is BISP Solution Miami, and I will put uh, uh, invoice number that is Dell. recurring slash the amount I'm putting the amount as $550 and the supplier number I will 1255 select that double click that's too long double click Supplier number I will select with one two five five. That is Dell INC. There we are. Dell INC. Say okay. So I have already created a payables calendar that is monthly calendar. In the previous session we have done created a payables calendars right so and after that we will select the supplier site right so that is supplier site. Here we are double click. the not blank search with that select the site the Dell US1 is the site say so, okay then we have to select the invoice currency right so that is invoice currency and I will select invoice currency as USD select USD USD and the payment currency is a not mandate but I will select that USD and provide the description that is monthly maintenance computer charges that I am using a short form charges right so I will select that monthly maintenance computer charges and out here I will select a calendar right so select that
search so i will select the monthly calendar this is the monthly calendar we have i will select select that monthly calendar Let me create, select the period. So I will select a period that is January. That period is January 23. Search with that. I'm selecting the same. Say okay. And to period, I am selecting the August, right? So I am selecting the August period. Two zero two three. Search with the year. So I am selecting out here as a July, right? So I will select the July, right? Say okay. And out here we will select the amount, right? So our amount is five fifty dollars, right? So that is the line amount. We are selecting the line amount here, right? So five fifty dollars, and we are not using any quantity right now. And provide the description out here in the lines. I will provide the same. Let us provide. the same out here and we have to provide the distribution right so the account code combination that is distribution combination or distribution set any one of that thing you can provide i will provide the distribution combination select that double click and select that same So account code is five three five two zero. This is computer repairing expenses, right? So monthly basis, the recurring invoice. 
is been created. We will create. This is the expense debit line, right? So that is account will be debited, and the liability account it will take from the supplier side. Or if supplier side if it is not mentioned, then common options from, right? So it will take from common options. So other things. Uh, look fine anything more I would say yeah it's okay now so let us submit the same generate select the generate say okay So seven recurring invoices has been created. Let navigate to the application and see the, the, the invoice recurring invoice has been generated or not. Let's navigate to this application. Just select that 24 hours. refresh that so you can see the invoices has been created so these are the invoices so one two three four five six seven yeah seven invoices has been created the validation has not been done and the account status is unaccounted right so it is unaccounted let open one of the invoice so let us open one of the invoices and yes the if i go to this status I want to see so it will show the validation is not validated and approval is required right so other things are holds are okay installment line variance is not no line variance is there distribution variance is zero no manual holds no system holds supply side is okay no right so let us validate the invoices from the task panel validate the invoice select that validate the invoice as per use case we have to validate the invoice right so select that BISP Miami and the ledger and uh, if you want to select the from date to date you can select that I am leaving the blank right so submit the same or if you have a specific supplier or party that you can put a criteria out here so let us navigate to the schedule process to review our submit process we will review the same from the schedule process so workforce has been initiated and successful let us navigate to the tables workbench that is payables work area and invoice workbench sorry
application is running a bit slow. So you can see the status has been validated, right? So account status is unaccounted right now, right? So let us, uh, now it is in sub ledger right now. So we have to create accounting, then only the invoices will push, the data will push to GL, right? So let us do that. So what is the next step we had to do? We had to initiate approval, right? So that is the approval initi initiation. So we will select that and select the business unit. So that is BISP Miami and my supplier is Dell and specifying that particular supplier. So let me select the supplier. Dell search with that Dell INC with the supplier number is 1255 right so and submit the same let us initiate the approval process So let us navigate to the schedule process to view the process. So let us select that. Here we are. It's running a bit slow right now. Let me check. Initiated work workflow. Yeah. So let us navigate to that. Go to the invoice for Mitch. So just select that one of that invoices and see the status out here. So approval has been initiated, right? So now we will run the create accounting process. So this is offline method we are using, right? So that is the offline method. As per the user test case, so as per the business requirement, the automation should be offline method for payable accounting with a specific runtime, right? So that is as per that requirement, it's an end of day, EOD, right? So we will put a certain period out here, uh, two, three minutes, right? So that we will do that. So how to do that in the application so that you will able to understand, right? So the create accounting, go to the create accounting, select the sub ledger as payables and select the ledger as BISP US select that and I'm putting the batch I will select the batch as double X Z right I am selecting this batch so we will identify through batch double X Z is the my batch and you can schedule the process so go to the advance 
and out here the schedule and we will schedule that once we will select that and provide the time right so as per out here I will select Indian time that is IST and and let me select that time just hold on right now it's let me select the time select that say 10th of right so I selected that and notification right so I will select the notification I will provide the notification to the user and the receipt is KC green and the condition I am selecting all she is the manager say ok and another one is the user right so so i am giving that also if it is success warning or error it will give you the notification so that is all i am selecting right so select that the condition is there and submit the process so you can see the process number just copy that say ok so you can sh schedule that particular process and through the schedule process you can review that right so let us go to the tools under the schedule processes and search with that particular process ID the process ID I will put out here and search with that so it has been started now right so it has been started now we have given a very close time right so that's why it has been started Ideally, it will be a, a waiting for we are given only a one minute or two minute brief time. That's why it is running, it is in the process right now. So various process are running you can see create accounting create accounting sub process posting to sub ledger journals posting to sub ledger journal sub process importing the journal to child and posting the journal maintaining the payables trial balance report right so that is the last process. So everything has succeeded now the create accounting has been succeeded now we will navigate to the invoice workbench out here let us navigate from here from favorite I will select that so invoice workbench
select the same say recent so you can see the status has been uh, accounted right so it has been posted to the general ledger so let us navigate to the general ledger and we see the these we have provided the batch right so we will search with that batch number right so go to the journal work area and out here my data access is us primary ledger and out here i will through manage journals from the task panel i will with the journal batch the journal batch we have provided that is this is the journal batch and delete that and search with that here we are so journal batch has been created so tables related entries has been passed right so it has been posted and i will open one of that journal which has been get posted so you can see the accounting has been done right so this is the inr ledger real time it is reporting ledger is attached to this primary ledger and this is the bsp us primary ledger right so if you see this is that you can drill down to the tables here we are the transaction view the transaction if you go to the view transaction it will navigate to the entry page that is tables invoice workbench area right so that is the a good facility provided by the oracle you can review that so done with that we have created and see how to create the accounting right so that is so what is the now moving to the next topic so let us navigate to the ppt so monthly period closure activity in payable application so while closing the payable period there are some helpful reports to run that help in the reconciliation process even though there is a plenty of other reports that can be used during the period close the payables to the ledger reconciliation report is the is the most helpful reconciliation tool available because it allows the user to drill into the differences between the transaction and accounted activities once the user drill into the differences they are able to see the exact transaction that are outstanding and can be resolved the issues as needed but first important to understand the steps involved to close the payables module properly so these are the steps you should follow ensure all invoices and the payments are fully processed this eliminates the maintenance during the reconciling reconciling run the create accounting process to ensure that all outstanding items on the reconciliation reports are not there because of item has not been accounted for if any invoices are sitting in interface table or need to be imported push all the imported invoices through and complete them as necessary by running the import invoice process will bring the those invoices that have been sitting in the interface table or are needed for any even period balances ensure all invoices approval has been completed 
if any pending invoices there will still need to go through the remaining step process and account for them before closing the period next you will to review some of the helpful reports that are available to reconcile such as payable invoice register payment register or matured bills payable status report so these reports will help you if conversion rate are being used for multi currency be sure the run the apply missing conversion rate process the ensure that all foreign currencies has been converted rate applied by task name apply missing conversion rates that is the task name through schedule process run the create accounting process again if they had to complete any of the previous step it is best practice to run the process again to capture any new activities and post it to the ledger optionally you can sweep any questionable transaction to the next period this is only for issues that cannot be resolved before the closing period and needs to review again at the later date the task name is payables unaccounted transaction and sweep report again it will be through schedule process then close the period then run the payables period close exceptional report this checks all for any that fails in the accounting process open the new period next review the payables to ledger reconciliation report this will show any anything that could have slipped through the cracks while running through the previous steps and mentioned before will allow you to drill down and see that the exact issues are review the trial balance that there are few other reports that can run for reconciliation they are listed in the period close folder in the reports and analytical work area run the create mass addition process the push all invoices including capital assets to the fixed asset module review the accounting analysis report to ensure only necessary transactions are posted to gl and finally run the desired tax holding or 1099 reports related to us taxation so these are the certain steps we had to follow while month and period close process so let us navigate to the application and see so where the reports can be run what are the process behind so we will see that so let us navigate and out here first you will navigate to the payables work area so go to the invoice work area
from the task panel from the task panel so all invoices should be validated any approvals which are pending should be initiated for approvals if any issues are there which are cannot be resolved can be sweeped to the next period that you have to talk to the business user related to that and after that you will run create accounting right so that is the create accounting and after create accounting you will navigate to the schedule process through the schedule process you will run certain reports that is payable invoice register i will just navigate to that see payables invoice so payable invoice register this is the one should run the payables provide all detail information about invoices run that select that say okay so supplier i am selecting invoice type any of that the period i am selecting certain period right so that is the august period right so i am selecting the period or enter date right so if you entered the date cancelled invoice only if you want to select the parameters as in cancelled invoice unvalidated invoice say yes or no you can check it down with that unvalidated invoices if it is lying you can check with that that parameters say un in unvalidated so you can use this particular report for that or if you want to have any specific related to supplier then you can provide that also if you have any groups related to that or by entered by right so you can user based also so there are different criterias you can go with that or you can have a standard invoice you are created with a standard invoice right so that invoices you want to see right so these are the various parameters let's review the same and let's submit the process so payable invoice register refresh the scene it is still running succeeded select the scene scroll little down you will get the report out here so output republish select the scene and from here i am using the html right so i am using the html view it's taking time
let's take a PDF view the same so you can see the invoices which are entered right so so these are the reports you can go through the payable reports of invoice register right so it's providing you the invoice number and the description there on so we have entered the tell right so let us find out with the tell So these registers you can go through I'm not able to see the okay it is July right so we are still in the August that's why we are unable to see that let me rerun that particular process right so we will see the Dell right so we have just posted that that I want to see that reschedule that again payables invoice register the last period is July, right? So that why it is not showing up. Let's take it's July, July 23. And I'm specifying that particular supplier, right? So let us select the Dell INC. I'm specifying that Dell INC this is the supplier right so submit that process just review the scene we are just uploaded right right so I want to see that particular report out here so these are the various reports you can go through so it is still running So it gets succeeded now. Let us review the scene. Go to the republish. Out here, export. Let's see in the HTML. HTML view. There we are. So we have specified that. So it is showing that right so MMC charges just we have uploaded that recurring invoices right so that is the standard invoice so that you can review through this particular report invoices and the pending for the different criteria you can select that so you can go with that particular reports the so pending for approvals are there you can go through that so there is another report you can view lot of reports are there so some of the reports I am 
going through that and rest of the things I have already explained payment register or maturity go through that particular payment register say payment register payment payment register so this is the payment register select that so it provides the detailed information about the payments select that say ok so period I am selecting as we have not made the any payment to the Dell right so we have entered the invoice and we have validated the invoice approved the invoice and then we have accounted the invoice right so let us see the any payment previous payments and the payment type is manual quick so various types of payment method the display of the pay name yes and no addresses if you want I am submitting the same as it is let's review the report of that so if there is any bill maturity is there the the maturity bill payables status report you can view that so we have no bills payable related entries we have done so you can run that particular report view in HTML so you can view that one payment we have released that is one of the supplier right so so that is the one we have not run any payment of this particular supplier that is Dell INC so some payment related to midtown computer suppliers right so that payment has been released right so that is the process is there and you can in a multi currency you can apply missing conversion rates right so that process I will navigate to that that is apply missing conversion rate so you should update your daily rates to apply that particular apply missing conversion so apply missing conversion rate to foreign currency invoices and payments select that and select the business unit right so business unit select that select the business unit that is B I S P I am selecting the same business unit B I S P Miami I am selecting and then run the submit the process right so we have not entered any foreign currency related invoices or we had not made the any payments out here right so so I will cancel the scene and then any unaccounted related to uh, which cannot be in process during this particular period then we can sweep that particular invoices or transactions to next period next open period that is payables unaccounted transaction and sweep report right so let us the task is payables let's search with the sweep right sweep here we are so the payables and accounted transaction and sweep report or this is the related to receivables 
and this is the one right so payables and accounted transaction and sweep report select that say ok so you can see the level is the level of the report is business unit and the report context is since I am selecting the business then it will select the business unit if I select the ledger it will select the ledger attached to that particular business unit so if you have a multiple business unit to that particular ledger you can select that right so I have only one for the demo I have selected this and and the period which is period you want that particular period and sweep period so next period that is future interval period you will enter that particular one right so that is the future interval period so my next future interval period will be the September and if I want to sweep now or no if I say no it will not sweep and if I want to sweep then yes I will select the yes and submit the same right so that is the which is unaccounted and we are unable to account it this particular period so it will shift to the next open period and then we had to run the payables period closure exception reports right so that is a very important report one should see the payables exceptional report right so it is a very important report one should go through every consultant should go through this particular report that is payables period close exception report list of exception preventing the closure of the payables account period right so select that select the ledger select the ledger so ledger is my BSP USPL and the period I am selecting as August right so submit the same say submit review the report just review the report it is running these are the some of the reports you should go through and last we will go with that prepared tables and general ledger reconciliation right so that report we should view we should run that particular report right so let us these are the some of the reports which should a uh, one consultant should review right so I am navigating and period exceptional reports so there is no exception out here if there is any error it will provide the error details out here right so if there is any calendar is not open the accounting has been not been done it will show up. so these are the things it will show right so that is the one of the report it will show and last not least we will uh, prepare the papers to the general reconciliation right so that report we have to run just I am navigating to that so let us that is Pables General Repair. Repair Pables to General. So here we are to prepare the transaction and accounting information reconciliation of Oracle Fusion Pables to Oracle Fusion General Ledger. So select that, say OK. So request name you will provide the request name so I am providing the 
any request name 445 right so that is the 445 I am giving and select the business unit this is my business unit and the accounting period right so that is accounting period is my August August 23 and include the intercompany transaction if you have any intercompany transaction then you can include that say yes only intercompany is transaction you want to view then you can select the only intercompany right so if you don't want to include that say no and leaving as a blank if you include the payables bills payables if you have any related to bills payables related transaction then you can include that also so that is yes and no we have not entered any bills related bills payable related transaction and the filter right so out here there is a filter I will select the filter as account and I will provide the uh, let us provide that so provide the accounts payable so this is the account right so select that say ok and submit the process submitting the same and review the same so waiting process is running sub process is running So if you go to the hierarchy, you the various processes running. So as soon as completed and successful, yeah, it has been completed and successful. Right, so you can review from here right so go to the payables work area out here the invoices select that invoices in the task panel from the task panel So running very slow just hold on here we are the payables to general ledger reconciliation you will select that and view the reports from here so that's it for the today and that's it for today thanks for joining the webinar on ap related transaction process in fusion application thank you for joining the session